I'm your host, Demetrius AJ. Whenever I'm done having a tremendous day working out and I need to get a deep sleep, I go to ZMA. And what this does is put you in a deep sleep, relaxation, and it's going to give you fast recovery at night. And the tagline for the uh, sponsorship of uh, Chivas of these boxing events, the Triple G boxing events, is winning the right way. And sitting right here is somebody that personifies, personifies winning the right way and really being an ambassador for the sport of boxing. Um, with that, let me go back here to... Uh, This is, I want to introduce someone who now represents a company, as I mentioned, uh, with the zone, a company that has really made a huge financial commitment to the sport of boxing. They've really changed the landscape, being able to watch fights, streaming on really any device, whether it's your TV at home, whether it's your laptop, your, your phone. They want to make sure the way that uh, people consume sports not only here in the United States but internationally is uh, it's the content is going to be available to them regardless of what device they're going to be uh, watching it on and they've really uh, done away quite frankly whenever Canelo fights whenever uh, Anthony Joshua fights whenever Triple G fights you know being on uh, pay-per-view the zone has really changed the game in that in that regard so um, I'd like to bring up the Executive Vice President of North America, Mr. Joe Markowski. Thanks, Tom, and thank you to all our friends in the media for joining us here in Los Angeles this afternoon. Um, as Tom's mentioned, this is a, it's a huge moment for our business, our continued growth here in this market. Boxing is absolutely central to what we're trying to do in North America, and to be successful in that venture, we need to be working with the top names in the sport. We're lucky and proud to have already brought onto the platform Anthony Joshua, Canelo Alvarez, and with the addition of Gennady Golovkin, I strongly believe that we have the three biggest names in the sport now attached to the platform and committing their futures to, to us as we, as we grow our business here in, in North America and around the world uh, with boxing at the core of that. This fight uh, is part of a tremendously strong spring and summer schedule for our business here in North America. Um, we're, we're 10 days away now from what I believe to be one of the biggest fights of the year in Canelo Danny Jacobs in Las Vegas on May the 4th, the Cinco de Mayo weekend. That's quickly followed by Anthony Joshua's debut uh, in the US at Madison Square Garden and the, the, the following week back at MSG with, with Gennady and Steve Rolls. And we're tremendously excited about all of that. I think the value we are bringing uh, to boxing fans and fight fans here in, in the US is tremendous. Unquestionable value, uh, unquestionable value. Sorry, across our monthly option of 19.99 and our 99.99 annual pass, which gives fans more than 100 fight nights a year um, for the cost of one pay-per-view under the traditional model. So, tremendous value. We're tremendously excited to get behind that from a marketing perspective, and crucially, to be to be adding Gennady to that to our platform is is tremendously exciting for us as well. To Mr. Rolls, we wish you the best of luck. We're you know standing ahead of a major opportunity for you, and we wish you the best of luck in that. And we look forward to welcoming all members of the media and our, our friends back to New York uh, in early June. So thank you very much and see you soon. Thank you, Joe. I mean, that lineup that uh, he just mentioned and uh, also want to highlight this Friday is the rematch of Estrada Rungasai. Um, it's a fight uh, last year that we promoted here in the uh, United States, in, in LA, and that's coming up on, on the zone. Friday night, but then you look at Canelo, Denny Jacobs, you look at uh, Anthony Joshua, you look at Triple G, especially Anthony Joshua, Triple G. Not only is it back-to-back -back at MSG, two of the biggest names in the sport of boxing, but back-to-back -back on the zone, which, um, you know, I don't know if that's been, it's been a long time since a uh, network platform has had two big names like that back-to-back. -back. So we're excited about that. We're excited about this, uh, this lineup coming up. Uh, we're all in with, uh, with the zone to make uh, uh, their platform as successful as possible from the Triple G side. And, um, you know, we're just uh, excited uh, to this new opportunity that uh, Triple G has. 
Um, we never have a Triple G fight without uh, someone entering the ring with him. Uh, we have to give a lot of credit to Steve Rolls. There was no hesitation. In fact, as Lou mentioned yesterday, Lou had called me a number of times in the past, you know, when we were looking for uh, to put a fight together with, uh, with Triple G. And this just happened to be the right time at the right moment for, for Steve. Uh, he's an undefeated fighter. He was part of the Canadian national team. Also has a history with Emmanuel Stewart. Um, you know, we have a high respect for Emmanuel. Uh, Emmanuel naturally was a longtime trainer of Vladimir Klitschko, who, you know, we've been involved with a lot of, a lot of fights on. And, and Emmanuel didn't, he, he had an eye for talent. And when he, uh, when I heard that uh, Steve, you know, had been involved with Emmanuel, you know, that, that said it all uh, for me right there. Um, as I mentioned, this is a huge opportunity for him. Uh, he's promoted by Debella Entertainment. Uh, Lou was at the, the press conference yesterday in Madison Square Garden. Today we have Ron Rizzo uh, representing Debella Entertainment. Um, to speak on behalf of Team Rolls is going to be uh, Todd Christie. I want to introduce uh, Todd to come up to say a few words. Thank you, Tom. Uh, my name is Todd Christie. I'm uh, Steve's uh, uh, manager and lawyer based in Toronto. Uh, uh, we don't have a lot to say other than to uh, sincerely thank DAZN and uh, Triple G Promotions for this uh, incredible life-changing life -changing opportunity for Steve Rolls. Obviously, like to thank Gennady uh, personally uh, as um, great a champion he, as he is in the ring. Uh, he's been a real professional and a true gentleman, uh, not only generally, but uh, with regards to this promotion and to Steve personally. So um, he, he's a, a great uh, ambassador to the sport and a real example to uh, uh, you know, up-and-comers like Steve as to how to uh, conduct themselves uh, outside of the ring, uh, uh, as well as in, inside of it. So, so thank you, Gennady. Um, let let me be very clear that Steve understands the magnitude of the challenge in front of him. Um, but he is a undefeated fighter. He's a two-time national champion. He has an extensive amateur experience and has fought uh, all over the world. Um, Obviously, uh, Gennady is a um, you know is in the mix in the conversation for being you know the best middleweight of maybe the last 40 or 50 years, but he's a human being, and uh, Steve is going to be prepared. I think it was Coach uh, Herm Edwards, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, who once said, uh, "We play to win the game," so Steve's not here to get his picture taken and take in the sights. He's coming to win this fight, and he's going to be prepared. And like I said, Gennady's a man, and I know he's going to prepare himself extremely uh, hard as well. But, um, you know, if he's not at his best, I can assure you that, that um, we're not going to be the only ones here that are, uh, uh, that, that, that won't be, you know, we'll be, People will be surprised by the results. Let me just put it that way. So, with that, uh, again, I'd like to uh, thank DAZN, thank Triple G Promotions, thank uh, Gennady, and uh, if you have any questions, we'll be happy to take them at the appropriate time. Thank you. With that, I want to bring up uh, someone who I actually just met yesterday, uh, but I have to say, as Todd says, um, you know, Steve and his whole team really conducts themselves very professionally. There was no pushing and shoving at the press conference yesterday to sell tickets. You know, Gennady is always the uh, consummate professional uh, representing the sport of boxing. And Steve, I have to give a lot of credit to also a consummate professional, the way he conducted himself, the way he made himself available to the media. Um, you know, it's, uh, this is a big event for both guys. When you fight at the most famous arena in the world, the Mecca Boxing, uh, it's a huge opportunity for Steve. 
to show what he can do under the brightest lights of the sport of boxing. And uh, again, this is in one night, he can go from undefeated Steve Rolls to the guy that beat Triple G. And with that, um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of pressure, but again, you know, the way he's reacted, it, uh, it says it all. So it's my uh, pleasure to introduce from Toronto, Canada, undefeated Steve Rolls. Thanks, Tom. Um, first off, I want to thank um, Triple G Promotions. I want to thank the Bell Entertainment, and I want to thank the Zone for giving me this opportunity. Um, I know as of recently, a lot of you were unfamiliar with me. Um, I know there's been a lot of questions about the choice of uh, Triple G's opponent. Uh, let me tell you, I'm somebody that works very hard to be here, to be in this position. Um, I've been through many ups and downs throughout my career, uh, fights that fell through, fights that I wanted that simply I just couldn't get. Um, I really believe that, you know, if I was showcasing the fights my team and I were after, um, the fans and the critics would find this, uh, this matchup much more intriguing um, than it's getting credit for. But at the end of the day, I know what I'm capable of, and I know this is a uh, this is going to be a, a much better fight than people are expecting. Um, I have nothing but respect for, for Gennady Golovkin. He's been a dominant champion force in the game for some time now. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, like Todd, my manager, said, he's a man, just like me. And when you get two men in the ring, um, anything can happen. Uh, I really look forward to seeing everybody June 8th, and uh, uh, we'll see you then. Thanks. Thank you, Steve. So here we are, the people's champion. Uh, someone who I consider still to be the best middleweight in the world, uh, to be undefeated. Uh, someone who holds, who sold out Madison Square Garden twice, sold out the form twice. He holds the uh, all-time sales record for revenue and number of people at the StubHub Center, the former StubHub Center. I think it's Dignity Health Center now, but uh, that, that arena down there in Carson. He sold out T-Mobile twice. <laughs> yeah, that one. Sold out T-Mobile twice, and he sold out the O2 arena. So this is really... Uh, a global ambassador, global ambassador for the sport of boxing. Um, it's my honor, my pleasure to introduce the long reigning middleweight champion, probably still has the highest knockout ratio and 20 knockout, you know, 20 title defense of the middleweight uh, championship, Gennady Triple G Golovkin. Thank you, Tom. First of all, I want to say thank you very much, God, for this point, you know, for this chance for me. Go back again. I'm very happy. I'm very happy right now, just I feel I go back. Thank you. Thanks, The Zone, of course. It's the biggest platform for boxing, not just for me, for everybody. Of course, thank you very much who support me, my partners, my sponsors, my, my people, my family. Thank you, guys. You know, I'm very enjoying this time. I listen to Steve. He says a lot. You know, I respect him. It, this is exactly what I need, why I have a fight with him. Absolutely, I respect your team. I respect your, you know, I'm honored why I need you. Thank you, guys. Guys, I go back, I come back. Just June 8th, Madison Square Garden, Mecca of Boxing. Please welcome. If you're not coming, just watch The Zone Live. I promise, we bring amazing show. I believe Steve, he ready for good quality fight. Please, don't miss my fight. Thank you very much.
I also want to announce that the tickets are on sale. We price the tickets very reasonably. We'll be announcing the undercard here shortly. The tickets start at $50. And we, Gennady sold out Madison Square Garden twice, and we expect another sellout on June 8th. If we want, we can open it up to uh, question and answers. Fred, we might as well, since both Steve and Gennady are here. We can take a few, a few questions. Do we have a, a wireless? Nope. Oh, here it is right there. We, we'll take a few questions while they're up here on the podium, and then we can always break down into uh, some one-on-one -on -one, uh, interviews. Gennady Aurelio with Nate Evangelino. First of all, thank you for being in Los Angeles. You're very loved here. And I just kind of want to get uh, your feeling on how do you feel to finally get back in the ring after figuring out what network you're going to go into. Thank you for your questions. Uh, I feel great. You know, I feel like I'm 15 years old. You know, <laughs> like uh, I have a dream. You know, right now I don't have nothing. I'm hungry. I want to go back. You know, just. I remember my situation like a year ago. Exactly, I understand what Steve Rolls feeling right now. It's more dangerous for me because I remember my situation the same. You know, I'm very happy. I'm enjoying my time with my team, all my friends. You know, I want to go back. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah, both guys. Right now, so we can. Uh, what we'll do is, uh, oh, there you go, Gilbert. Gennady, first of all, describe Steve uh, Rolls. What have you seen in him? What has your team seen in, in his style? And uh, Steve, what? How can you describe Gennady? Me first. Where do you go first? You want me to go first? Um, well, Gennady, he, I mean, he's a, he's a tremendous champion, um, very strong. He can be aggressive. He's somebody to me that, you know, can do it all. He can box if he needs to. He has a very good jab, um, as well as if he needs to put pressure and cut off the ring, he can do so. Uh, can I speak Russian? Maybe Anna, she translate me and she helped me. Я думаю, Стив заслуживает этого места, этого боя, так как он единственный, кто сделал максимум для этого боя. Его команда сделала максимум для боя, и из-за этого он получил этот бой. Мое уважение к нему. Um, I think that um, um, Steve uh, deserves this fight, and I think he deserves this fight because uh, he and his team uh, did all possible to make this fight happen. Bernardo? Steve, this is an opportunity to change your life. It's what every fighter dreams of. How do you deal with the magnitude of what this fight would do for you, your family, and the future? Um, you know, it's just one of those things that, you know, I'm still trying to take in, but um, with all the, the thoughts running through my head, um, I must res remain calm. I understand that, you know, this is, this is a tremendous opportunity for me. But I got to stay composed, and you know I got to make sure that I focus on. I got to do everything I can to focus on this fight. I'm going to put everything I have in this fight. Um, I can't let the thoughts and all the other things of what could happen or this and that um, get the best of me right now. I'm just focused on one thing, and that's Golovkin and uh, June 8th. Gennady, what was the biggest learning experience that you had over the last few months throughout this negotiation process? Uh, take us through what that process was like and uh, what you learned getting out of it. Я думаю, я научился многому, так как у меня мы открыли промоторскую компанию, во главе которой стою я, и так как я еще действующий спортсмен, мы будем делать и продвигать нашу промоторскую компанию, то есть будем отталкиваться от нашего опыта, то есть нам есть в принципе о чем поговорить, мы можем это сделать позже. I think I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Uh, we opened the promoting company, and I am the uh, head of this company, but still as a uh, still acting sportsman, we are going to work a lot on that promoting of our promotion company, and we have uh, a lot of things to talk about in the future. 
So with that, I think we're going to wrap up the press conference. Like I said, we'll do some one-on-one -on -one interviews. Uh, I want to also acknowledge Gennady's uh, twin brother, Max, who just, uh, they both had their birthdays uh, April 8th. He's in attendance. He just flew in yesterday uh, to New York and now here to, uh, to LA. So we'll break down this. We'll do the, uh, the face-off between both uh, Steve and, and Triple G, and then we'll go into uh, some one-on-one -on -one interviews. Everybody good? 